Boys and girls, and welcome to NC Kids. I hope that you guys are super ready for today's lesson. Uh, I'm ready, and I hope that you guys are too. If you are joining us for the very first time, welcome. Welcome to NC Kids Online. Go back and watch some of our awesome videos and some of our other amazing lessons and leaders teaching those amazing lessons. Um, but if, you are, if you're re-watching us and you've watched a lot of our different videos again, I hope that today is awesome and fun and exciting and you enjoy the, 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 the lesson as well. But also to you, welcome. Right, before we do anything, we've got to welcome God. So let's just close our eyes and pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this amazing day. We thank you, Lord God, for all the blessings that we receive um, every single day, even the things that we don't see. I just want to pray, Lord God, that you will just be with us during this lesson and that you help us um, just um, learn something new today, Lord God. I pray that the things that we learn today, we are able to apply it to our lives um, in our everyday context. And I pray, Lord God, that it's not just something we know, but something that we apply and live out in our everyday lives. And I pray, Lord God, that you'll help each one of the boys and girls watching this video to do that. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Well. As I said, today's lesson, we're going to, we're going to be, be something slightly different and something awesome. And we're going to be looking at a story, or continuing our, our theme of looking at some, the life of Jesus and some of the things that he's been doing. And today, um, we're going to be looking at the day that, that Jesus kind of gave the disciples a fright. But we'll get to that in a minute. But to kind of paint the picture of where we're going to be going with the story, we're going to have some really cool, we, we've got to be there to really feel it. So you guys ready? Let's do this. One, two, three. Whoa, whoa, I'm gonna sink, I'm gonna sink, I'm gonna sink, I'm gonna sink, I think, hey, hey. Nah, just joking. I'm actually, this is our scene, can you see the sea behind me oh, and around me? And the funny thing is, I'm not sinking. That's pretty cool, right? This is pretty, I, I actually like this. I should get this for a bed, it's like a sea bed. Eh, there we go, anyway. But anyway, so today's lesson is gonna be all ar around about this. This is a kind of a calm picture, but this, to start the story one day, um, the disciples went out um, on a boat um, to, to, to across, across the Sea of Galilee. And as they're going along, uh, Jesus had stayed behind. He needed to do some, he was just going to do some praying and some resting. And he just needed a bit of time on, on his own. And he told the disciples to go ahead and that he would join, uh, join them later. And so they were on the sea and off they're going and, they, and they're sailing around on this boat. But guess what happened? A storm came. Now, for those of you guys who are in South Africa, Johannesburg specifically, we have some pretty amazing storms. But I don't think anything compares. I've never lived it and I don't know if I ever want to. When a, when a storm happens on the sea, if you're watching this and you've ever experienced it, I can, I'm pretty sure it must be super terrifying. Because the water just starts go, going crazy and, and, the, and, and, and there's way, the waves just make the boat go up and down and left and right and sideways. It's pretty intense. And it was raining and can you imagine how the disciples must have felt when they were sitting in this boat and the storm came and it started rocking this boat and they were super 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 afraid and then and then um it got all misty and dark and and cloudy and and they're looking across the store and they just don't know what is going on and and they and they were just so afraid have you guys ever been in a position where you like super afraid um I know I have I know I've had lots of times where I've just been so scared and I just don't know what to do well, that's exactly what happened with the disciples. And so they started praying to God and they just started asking God to be with them and help them. And lo and behold, they looked across into the, into the mist. And what do you think they saw? They saw somebody in the distance. And they all shouted, it's a ghost! It's a scary zombie, something! I don't know what they thought, but they were pretty scared. And they, cause like, who would be coming through this waves and the storm and the mist and the craziness? Who would be coming through? And it was one and only Jesus. They didn't know that initially and until he started getting closer and closer. Um, and, and as he got closer, they recognized that it was Jesus. And they were like, oh, Jesus has come to save us. Oh, thank goodness, it's not a ghost. And they were super excited. But then they suddenly realized, wait a minute, he's walking on the water. He's not sinking. He's not in a boat. He's walking on the water towards them. Guys, 
I don't know about you, but that must have been even more scary than the storm and the waves because that is completely out of what they would have known. That would have been something super, super scary. Have you guys ever been in a position where you've been in a place or had to do something that you just don't know, you've never done it before, you've never experienced it before? Well, I, can, I, I think that brings like a whole lot of anxiety, a whole lot of worry, and a whole lot of fear. And then there was one brave guy, you know, because there's always one brave guy. His name was Pete. Pete the Disciple, not Pete the Heat, but Pete the Disciple. Anyway, and Pete the Disciple was like, I, I got this. Jesus, I'm going to join you. Can I, come, can I come to you? And so he got out of the boat and he started running on the water. And he was like, this is so cool. I'm running on the water. And then suddenly he realized, wait a minute. I am running on the water. And he started doubting. And guess what happened? He started sinking because he was like, wait a minute, I'm walking on water. I can do this. Oh, wait. And he started like, being scared again. And he started sinking. And luckily, before he got too far under the waves, Jesus grabbed him out of the water and pulled him up. And, they, and he walked Peter back onto the boat. And Jesus got onto the boat with Peter. And he said, you know what? You don't need to fear. Why do you fear? Why do you fear me? Why don't you keep your eyes on me? And you know what, boys and girls? This story is such an amazing lesson because it does remind us that no matter what we're facing, and we just have to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus every single day, all day. There are so many things in our life that can scare us, whether it's corona, whether it's getting sick, whether it's um, like nightmares or bad dreams, or um, just there are so many things. Writing exams can be super scary. Maybe you've got like, like a, a big match that you've got to play. There are so many things that can really scare us. And some things are more scary than others. But I, but I want, whenever we're facing something really scary or something really big and something that we really just don't know, we have to trust God. We have to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus and listen to Him and say, God, help me through this. Because Jesus is always going to be there to help us through it. No matter what we face, no matter how scary it is, no matter what it is. Just like me standing on this water, thanks to technology, um, it's pretty awesome. But we really can do these amazing things when we just keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. So I want you guys to remember that this week and I want you guys to put it in practice. I'm going to see you guys again next week where we're going to continue talking about this lesson and look at some practical examples that you can apply this into your life. But I hope you boys and girls have an amazing rest of the week. Enjoy the story. Go and think about it and meditate in it. You'll find it in Matthew 17 and, and you will read about the story there. So go and, go and read it up. And I really hope that you guys have an amazing week. I love you guys and we'll chat to you guys soon. Don't be scared. See you soon. Bye.